This is Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm here guided to do a past life reading for each of the, uh, the sun signs. And it is going to be for the collective. So bear in mind, it's not going to be for everyone that comes to the channel. But it is a situation that's rearing its ugly head again between the 12th of March and the 2nd of April 2023. Um, so it's a life lesson that needs to be completed from a past incarnation that you lived. So we're going to look at um, the past life card from Dorian Virtue and Brian Weiss and we've got the health card. So what this is telling me, Taurus, you could have been a doctor or worked with medicine or, you know, you had health issues back in this past incarnation which is affecting your life today. From the Romance Angel cards, we have the wedding card. So this, you know, situation involves a marriage, involved a unit of two people, promises that were made possibly between the couple as they commit to spending the rest of their lives together. Uh, I felt the ceremony itself was a symbol of commitment and the exchange of rings and a physical representation, you know, eternal bond that, will, uh, that was formed between a husband and a wife back in that lifetime. So in the uh, the Enchanted Lenormand cards, under the deck we have the mice. So this can mean stress factors in the relationship. Perhaps time with your partner came to a painful end or there was some sort of chronic stress, illness um, on your relationship which delivered a cruel fate. There was... Uh, Maybe times you were trying to reduce pain. You know, you had achievements in your life which left you feeling unfulfilled. You know, a trip maybe that you went on may have been spoilt and you were having nightmares because of this. So your commitment started fading away. So this is what's coming up today. Now in this life, oh sorry, in the past incarnation, the first card is the anchor. Um, we've got the cross and we have the sun. So the anchor's about, you know, feeling stuck because of pain and not being able to reach those, those goals in life with your union. And, you know, um, this was about permanent suffering Maybe you relied on your religion and persevered even though something was extremely painful for you. It could have been you in this past incarnation that was sick or your partner. I felt you tried, keep, uh, you tried to keep moving on with your life. You kept to your promise and persevered with the commitment. And you were suffering to achieve success and struggling with your emotions. But you longed for this commitment. So in this lifetime, what's coming up is the ship, the moon and the ring. So, so I feel like um, you're going to be doing some traveling in this lifetime towards a person who's very well known from a foreign background, could be the same partner that you were with in this past incarnation. Now you're happy to be making progress on a holiday, dreaming of a commitment and honouring your past commitments. But this is someone that you may want to settle down with. So it could be uh, Leo or Cancer. But you're looking for um, success in your life. You're looking to be happy, settling down, having the overall happiness in life. Now, under the deck, we have the mice, the diviner, and the fox. So this could be uh, telling you, you know, you need to work on your stress levels and trust your intuition. You know, you may be looking at making strategies for your next moves. So I'm going to see if I can get any more out of this nine-card spread for you guys. So, you know... You're feeling stuck with your intuition, but you want that commitment. You want that long-term commitment with someone that's going to make you happy. I feel like you're traveling to a hot country towards success. And, you know, uh, this could be also 
traveling towards uh, getting a job but I feel like your stress levels is what's um, keeping you from doing things you're struggling with stress at the moment just trust your gut you know you've got to trust your emotions trust your gut intuition there is a successful relationship coming for you Taurus and I feel this person, um, you're going to meet this person through a work job if you haven't done so already. Now, they could work in medicine like before or maybe this was you that worked in medicine in a past incarnation or your partner. But we have the outcome card here, which is from the Gratitude of Oracle deck, number 54, and it's tools. You know, this is your angel sensing that you have lack of motivation or courage in achieving your goals or your life's desires. Maybe they've sent you this number so you can boost your self-esteem and have some positive thinking so you've got this solid foundation to overcome any fears that you have with the mice. And you can reach for the stars. Okay, now you'll find success if you have faith in your own skills too. Because this angel number is here to remind you of your higher purpose. So you've got to have faith. Just like the crossing. Okay, that now the number five in this card represents challenges and your heart's desires, romantic love. But it's likely has to do with lack of motivation for personal dreams. But although it could have something to do with a transition in your career or love life. So maybe, you know, um, it could be both. The number five has challenges. But it's likely um, that you're transitioning in your life. The second number, four, is here to foretell that most likely your outcome is going to be hard work. Patience, dependability, and material achievement. The number nine, which it breaks down to, is symbolizing achieving these goals and going through a cycle of completion here with the moon. So, you know, um, you'll achieve the goals that you've set for yourself. You're going to strategize and you're going to achieve those goals in love and in career, is what I'm feeling. But I'm going to read a little bit more from the book for you so you got the fairy standing on the tip of a clear quartz crystal cluster and she's surrounded by a black sky filled with stars she's reaching out as if the touch to to touch these stars now clear quartz is associated with clearing energy and bringing clarity into your life and the fairy is here to represent um nature and your ability to manifest what you need okay so the black sky pertains to power control and the ability to absorb negativity the black can also refer to the need to protect yourself from negativity and harm the stars are there as a reminder about the wisdom you have blessings and hope that are always present in your life and they're going to shine through the darkness so you know everyone has spiritual potential that can be nurtured. So, so you know, maybe you've got to um, nurture these spiritual practices, raise your energy and help connect to the divine power with you know within yourself and those people around you. Now, there are many ways to clear your energy and to alleviate your conscious mind. Just by practicing gratitude is a tool for spiritual growth. And it can also... Use grounding, energy, clearing, crystals if you want, um, incense, meditation or breath work, any kind of uh, crystal grid or divination, you know, to name a few. But spiritual tools will help you improve your, your auric field. It's going to help raise your vibration here, Taurus, and um, it will bring about immediate release. And you're going to feel a lot lighter by doing so. So, uh, you know, once you do this, it's going to clear all your energies and restore your spiritual 
emotional and spiritual balance. These are the tools for finding peace with your life when it gets hectic. And, you know, um, if you do this on a regular basis, it will help you pursue your goals. Tune into your intuition and keep your motivation inspired. You know, this is, can be a daily practice for you, for, uh, for you Taurus. And um, it's going to help you develop your spiritual tools anyway. It doesn't have to be time-consuming. Just keep a journal so you can grow and be self-aware starting each day by drawing a card from an oracle deck, maybe if you've got any at hand, but listing all the things that you're grateful for is going to help you. So just uh, as an affirmation for you, in your quiet space, you can say, I spend time on my spiritual practice and I use my tools each day. So that's all I have. Um, I'm not sure who it's meant for, but I hope it reached the person it's meant to go to. It is de definitely for the collective. So take it in your situation, guys. Love to you all. Bye for now.